89.5 Super Bay Radio Music coming from Mayonnaise. It's called Jopai. All right. 12.14 on the dot right now. Time for me to give you the latest from the Presidential Communications Operations Office of Malacanang. All right. 5,000 COVID-19 vaccine doses for A4 minimum wage or earners, that is, and OFWs on Labor Day. Something to look forward to this coming May 1st. Labor Day, baby. All right. The Interagency Task Force uh, approved the request of the Department of Labor and Employment, the DOLI, for... Uh, 5,000 doses of COVID-19 vaccines to be used during the symbolic inoculation ceremony of minimum wage workers and overseas Filipino workers under priority group A4. On uh, May 1st, this coming May 1st, the DOLE or DOLI has uh, been directed to create a master list to ensure the equitable uh, representation of the uh, labor sector during the said ceremony. The IATF likewise considered frontliners of uh, the Congress of the Philippines to be placed under priority Group A4 of the National COVID-19 Vaccine Deployment Plan in recognition of their critical and indispensable role in our fight against the coronavirus pandemic. Meanwhile, all passengers coming from India or those with travel history to India within the uh, last 14 days preceding arrival shall not be allowed to enter the Philippines starting uh, 12 o'clock midnight of April 29, 2021 until May 14, 2021. On the other hand, those already in transit from India and all those who have been uh, to India within 14 days immediately preceding arrival to the Philippines who arrive before uh, 12 o'clock noon, um, midnight of April 29, 2021 shall not be subject to such uh, restriction. These passengers are, however, required to undergo stricter uh, quarantine and testing protocols such as observation of an absolute facility-based 14-day quarantine period notwithstanding a negative reverse transcription polymerase chain reaction result. All right, so there you have it. Something to look forward to on Labor Day, May 1. 5,000 COVID-19 vaccine doses for A4 minimum wage earners and OFWs on Labor Day. The latest from the Presidential Communications Operations Office of Balacanang, the PCOO. All right. Right about now, I want to give props to our friends at Prito Food Hub. Prito, they go double T on Prito. All right. <laughs> they are located at Stairway Number 4, Pag-asa Public Market, Gordon Avenue, just below the LTO office. All right. You may look them up on Facebook. Uh, look for Prito uh, Food Hub as well as on is- Instagram. That's also the handle to look for, Prito Hub. Or uh, call or text 0917-192 or 190 rather, 2468. I'm going to repeat the number, 0917-190-2468. Get your fried favorites or uh, as they call it, fried burrits. <laughs> Here at Prito Food Hub, uh, Tuesdays to Sundays, 11 a.m. to 9 p.m., Tuesdays to Sundays. But however, starting May, they will be operating from Monday to Sunday to serve your fried food cravings. Fried food, that's what they're all about. Fried food. That's why it's called Prito Food Hub. And you guys are encouraged to uh, do advance orders. Pwede rin, ano, before you drop by there. Pwede kayong tumawag or uh, mag-order. Uh, get in touch with them via the cell phone number I mentioned or via Facebook or Instagram. Uh, order in advance para pagdaan dun, pick up na lang ano, and bayad. <laughs> Much easy and uh, less time, di ba? Uh, it's a good idea now that we have this pandemic situation, right? And they also deliver around the Longapo Subic Bay Freeport area with a minimal uh, delivery fee. Look it up, Prito Food Hub in uh, Pag-asa Public Market. Okay, hi to our friends there. Happy listening to you guys. Thank you so much for always keeping us in the background. Oh, okay, time now for a song coming from the band called Soap Dish. This one's called Puede Ba. This is the version 2 of that song. All right. Puede Ba from Soap Dish in English. Can it be? <laughs> 895 Civic Bay Radio. I'm DJ Tommy G, the hitman. 